Um, my names are Beverly Wamboy Kabuya Moito. I come from Kenya. Uh, I arrived on the Sunshine Coast um, in September 2015. I basically came here to look for opportunities, you know, for different opportunities for my daughter and I. Uh, I'm a pharmacist, so I also came for career opportunities as well as lifestyle opportunities for the both of us. I was very surprised at how green it was because Australia traditionally is known for being quite dry and also you don't really realize how big the country is. I mean, it's a continent, really. So, um, but yeah, so it, it was pleasant, pleasantly surprising. The visa that I'm on is uh, the regional, regional nominated visas and Queensland was the first one to nominate me. So they literally give you a list of postcodes. So they're just all these numbers on a sheet of paper. It literally was a matter of taking a few days off and sitting on Google and <laughs> just typing out 4556, where is that? What's the name of that area? Then, you know, Google images and you're like, okay, what does this place actually look like? And I figured you can't really go too wrong with a place, you know, called Sunshine Coast. It sounds like heaven, doesn't it? I'm a pharmacist and when I was home, uh, I worked as a pharmacist in a hospital. And now again, for the third time, <laughs> I am going to go through a registration process. So I'm going to do a one year internship and sit a pharmacy law exam at the end of that. And only then will I be uh, qualified as a pharmacist. So will I be able to fully work as a pharmacist? And of course that has implications on salary and you know, all sorts of other things. But you do have to go through step one to five to get to five. I've carried lots of photos. I've got lots of photo albums with me. They really do help, you know, in times when you're feeling alone and you know lonely it's it's a good thing to be able to pick up you know to pick up a photo album and just reminisce and I've got artwork from home as well and uh, African books when you have art in your home that's from where you're originally from you just need to lift your eyes and look at it and it it takes you back you know it takes you back to home so we love the beach uh, at home in Nairobi, I come from Nairobi, and Nairobi is about a six hour drive, so we don't get to go to the beach. To be able to get into your car and drive 10 minutes and you're on the beach is just fantastic. And So you've got the beach on one side, and if you go 25 minutes inland, you've got hills and vineyards, and you can do that in a day. You know, it doesn't have to be a thing that you plan in like a three day trip and it's, I mean, it's, it's fantastic. People have really been pleasantly, very, very warm, you know, and I really have to take my hats off to, you know, to, to Australians, I guess, and to the people who live here, that um, someone can come, you know, can come in with a child from outside and, and not know anything about, <laughs> about living here or about being here and that, you know, you're taken in. It's like being given a hug. You know, it's like, okay, come, you know, we'll, we'll take care of you or we'll show you the way. And so I, I, I love it, basically, yeah. The coast is very multicultural. You know, somebody or rather everybody is coming from somewhere. Everybody has something to contribute from wherever it is that you're coming from. You have something to contribute to, to the society. So, and something positive. So if we could all bring our little positives from wherever it is we are coming from, I think it would be, it would be fantastic, yeah.